Hey guys, KK4 PON back again with you here, and well, I guess I've done it again. Oops, I've done it again, whatever. Um, so I have this Chrome box, it's an Asus CN60. Um, not a very powerful machine, but it is a Chrome box. It's got a 16 gig SSD and USB 3 and all good new stuff. Um, and Chrome's not supported on it anymore, so uh, I wanted to use it as a Bato Serra machine, which works fine for Bato Serra. Um, I thought it'd be cool to have RetroPie in here, <clears throat> but don't know if that would work. But I do have Raspberry Pi desktop working on another device. Now, I did it on the Chromebook, I did it on the EPC. Um, I don't know if I clarified this in the other videos. You have to use the MrChromebox.com firmware utility, um, which requires putting your Chromebook, or in this case a Chromebox, into developer mode and fiddling about in there and doing some command line stuff. Uh, all the instructions are really clear to follow on MrChromebox.com. Um, if I'm really smart, I'll link that down is that how the YouTubers do it? Down in the description. Um, anyway, so yeah, as you can see, it's working. We're connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, make sure you set your country. Uh, if you're familiar with Raspberry Pi, I mean, it's basically Raspbian. <laughs> um, I don't think this is, what's the new one? Bullseye. But anyway, um, this is the same image, the, the same ISO that I put on the other ones. I uh, used Etcher and flashed it to a USB drive. I think it'll work on SD card. This little computer actually has an SD card on the slot on the side. And if you see a little hole right there, uh, where are we? Beep, boop. That's the reset hole you actually need to press out of the paper clip to get it into developer mode. So you stick a paper clip in there. I just use a DuPont header. <laughs> Uh, and turn it on and it goes into developer mode, you press control D and from there you start fiddling about in developer mode. Um, it can be a little bit fiddly, definitely not for beginners, but I don't know, whenever I have free time I just like to install operating systems. Uh, so yeah, um, this particular Chromebox has an audio problem, the 3.5 millimeter audio out does not work, but it is working over uh, what's that called? HDMI. So here you see I got my YouTube channel pulled up. There's the Chromebook. I might actually buy a battery for that. But as you can hear, it's got audio. Uh, it's actually running through a soundbar right now. Sorry for the shakiness. I was just grabbing the remote here. So there you go. Mm. Um, it's working. I say um a lot. Um, so <laughs> I, I have to admit I'm not a good YouTuber, but I, I like sharing this stuff with you guys and girls, and I just I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, I've got two windows open at one time. It's no problem. It runs fine. Uh, the one caveat, if you're going to do this on a Chrome device, it's got to be an Intel-based Chrome device. Uh, there's, uh, I think this is a Haswell processor. Like I said, this is like a 2011 or 2015 device. This is not a new device. Um, which, Chrome devices, if you don't know about how that works, it they're basically supported for a couple years, uh, security-wise, running Chrome. But they're so cheap. Uh, they're getting really super expensive now. Um, what can I run that I can show how well this is? I guess I should point it to the screen. Anyway, uh, it runs great. Um, it's not going to... I'll come over here. I, this setup is not ideal. I had it on my other monitor, but it was freaking out with the resolution of that one's only 720p, and the HDMI output on this thing is 
I guess stuck at 1080. I'm not sure. I don't know what what's going on with it, but it just didn't didn't look right. But as you can see here, I'll back up with this mouse. Can I use this on my stomach? I sure can. Uh, I got some stuff open in here, you know. But there's all this stuff. VLC. Got some games. You know, it just works good. Um, and I don't know if I said this before. The whole point is when you buy a Chromebook or a Chrome box in this case, I bought this one on eBay used when it was still in support for, I don't know, 50 bucks. Um, they're so cheap and even brand new right now you get a brand new Chromebook for like $200. Uh, the new ones will run Linux applications and will run Android applications. They're fantastic. I've got some other videos on here actually featuring this box, this Chrome box, uh, doing some ham radio stuff because, believe it or not, this is a ham radio channel. What else can we do over here? Uh, as you can see, this one's got Bluetooth. Bluetooth is hooked up. Let's see what a really big... Look at that, big old terminal. Yeah, so... This is like a 37 inch TV or something. Um, but they're cheap. They're cheap. They don't use a lot of power. Uh, and, and they're easy to get. And once that, once Google stops supporting them, uh, if you run Chrome OS, it'll still work. You can still access the web. You can still do whatever, but you're not getting security updates. I think, don't quote me because I haven't tried, I think you can get the latest version of most apps, but, you know, definitely, if you're going to run Chrome OS, uh, try and find a, uh, a VPN that works with Chrome. <laughs> Just, it, you're, you're setting yourself up for security issues. So, this way you're not throwing out a device that was no longer any good. Some of the new Chromebooks are really expensive. The old Chromebooks maxed out at like $300 new. You can get Chromebooks and Chromeboxes on eBay all day long for 50 bucks, probably less. The 3120 that I showed you in the other video was made for schools. Schools buy them by the hundreds, if not thousands. So what happens when those things go out of security? They're not just going to destroy them, I don't think. They're probably going to sell them to some sort of liquidator. They'll end up on eBay. Long story short, TLDR, cheap, cheap, cheap hardware. Uh, just like I buy old Dells. Uh, let me show you here real quick. This is my old E uh, 80, 7240, 8240. 7240. This is a Latitude 7240. When this thing was new, this is a Core i7. Uh, when this was new, it was like a $3,000 laptop. Uh, SSD, you know, good screen, mil spec, all that stuff. <laughs> This is an expensive laptop. I think I paid 150 or 200 bucks for it because Dell. It's a business computer. They turn them in on leases. You get rid of them. You're good to go. Um, I guess I shouldn't be showing that screen there. My little Indeed thing going on looking for a job. But anyway. Um, I just like old cheap hardware. It, why? I've got a... You know, newer newer laptop, but this right now you could probably get on eBay for fifty bucks. I tried Gallium OS, which is specifically designed for Chromebooks, didn't work. Installer crashed at the last minute. Don't know why. Tried Lubuntu, Xubuntu, didn't work. Installer crashed. Um, <laughs> so. And I've had that issue with other devices, with the Chromebook. It just, these things wouldn't load. Or if they did, not everything worked. For some reason, Raspberry Pi OS for desktop works on everything. And the advantage is you can install whatever you want on top of this now. Uh, I can put RetroPie on top of this, I believe. Air quotes. You know, I can install Kodi in here. I can do whatever I want. But... Now I've got a new, supported, secure operating system on a $50 computer with decent specs. It's USB 3, HDMI, it's got DisplayPort, uh, 
you know, it's got a 16 gig SSD in it, which is, you could upgrade that. I could put a 128 gig SSD in this if I wanted, uh, you know, an M2. So at any rate, it's working. Enough said about that. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound. And this has got 5 gig Wi-Fi in it. Uh, my Wi-Fi is flaky. It keeps disconnecting. I think it's the card in this machine. Uh, but it does work. Once you load something up, it, it just works. So if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, I uh, hope you've enjoyed another shaky handheld horrible YouTube film by me, KK4PYN. If you're not already following me on Twitter, please do, at KK4PYN. I post a lot of updates there. Uh, we'll put this video up there. And thanks to my new Pixel 6 Pro for doing a great job at OAS here. Um, other than that, you guys, take care of each other. Be safe. And I'll talk to you on the next one. And I don't have a standard outro, I don't think, or an intro or anything like that. So if any of you guys want to develop some sort of little channel deal for me, go for it. And I'd love to be a little bit better. But for right now... Handheld, cell phone, old school, same way I've been doing YouTube since too long time ago. So that's it, you guys. Have a good one. Take care.